Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your dumbbell boot camp workout. So in this workout, we are gonna work your entire body for strength and cardio in a boot camp circuit format using a set of dumbbells. As always, I will give you lots of options, so listen to your body and work to your fitness level. All you need for this workout is a set of dumbbells. I'll be working between my eight and 10 pound dumbbells today, so if you have a few sets, that's fine too. Are you ready? Let's do it. Big deep breath in and out. If you want to jog it, that's fine too. Swing those arms out to the side and breathe. And take them up and down. Good. And if you roll through your back, flat back down, round it up. Flat and up. Good. And one more time, marching it out with those big rolls. And let's step it out to the side. So a little side lunge, step through, opening up those hips. You can even roll through the hands. Just like that. And take it down into your back, open up wide, press gently forward with the shoulders while you're just gently pushing back on the inside of the legs, opening up those hips. And walk them in, round it up, tap and reach across. There we go. Good, hopefully you are starting to feel warm. Remember our goal with this dynamic warm-up is just to get moving, be working through the muscles and the movements that we're going to be doing today in this workout, bring those knees up. We're not too worried about getting stretching until the end. And of course, if you feel like you need more of a warm-up, get it on your own. Here is how it is going to work, guys. So, little stretch forward. We are going to have four circuits of four moves. So, it's going to be a cardio, an upper body, a lower body, and a core. Those are your four moves. The first time through, let's go back to here. The first time through, you will go 50 seconds, five zero of work, little quick 10 seconds of rest. And then the second time through, we're gonna have our lightning round, our speed round. So we'll do those same exercises, only 30 seconds each. Just tap it out, but no break in between. So four sets of 30 seconds, lightning round, one last little push. So longer set, shorter set with a lightning round. Heart rate should stay up the whole time, but again, we'll be going cardio, upper, lower, and core. In between the circuits, we will get a little bit of a breather. We'll grab some water. I'll explain your next moves. And then we will move on. All right, guys. So your very first move, you're going to grab one of your dumbbells. This can be done with or without the dumbbell. It's going to be a jack with a press. So low impact, just step it out, press it up. Step it out, press it up. High, we're here, nice and light, right? Our upper body. We're going to do a cross row, just like this. So you keep moving while I'm explaining these, of course. Tap it out or jog it out. Cross row, you're crossing them over, pull it up wide, and then you're coming all the way up with a high pull. So row at the bottom, high pull. Now, if that feels like too much, I want you just to keep the cross row. You can stay down the whole time. If you have something heavier, what I don't want you to do is pull into that back, right, on that high pull. So get a little momentum with it, pull it up strong, just like that. All right, then you keep moving, still be marching it out, guys. With your lower body, we're going to do side lunge, reverse lunge, then step it in, other side. Side lunge, reverse lunge, you know that. So right and left, pushing out of that heel, one side to the other, and then one dumbbell, our core, we're gonna go around the world, 
cross knee. Around the world, big circle, cross knee. That also can be done without the dumbbell. That feels good for you. All right, one dumbbell, starting in three, two, with those jacks, here we go. So low impact, stepping it out, pressing it forward. If you wanna take it high, or you can do either of these options without the dumbbell, right? You can be here or here. No dumbbell. That works too, right? So keep it going. Breathe. Remember, we got 50 seconds. Heart rate should be up. And listen, you don't have to press up super high, especially if it's gonna pull your back. Keep it close to the body and core is in tight. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Good, grab your dumbbells for that row. So roll those shoulders back, hinge at your hips. Remember we're crossing in front, here we go. Cross, pull it high. Hinge, cross, cross, high. So it's a double cross. And down. And up. Again, if that feels too tricky, just keep a regular row or just keep it low. Up to you. Totally fine to modify. Just cross, row. Cross, row. Then if you can, on that second cross, bring it up. Row at the bottom. High pull at the top. Row at the bottom. High pull at the top, right? Row, five seconds. Can you get one more? Yes, 10 seconds to breathe. Hang on to those dumbbells. Side lunge into reverse lunge. So you're stepping out and back with the same leg. Here we go. Side lunge, reverse. Side, reverse. So remember, as we step, leaning to the hip, Dumbbells are coming low, you're dropping low, but keep the chest and eyes up, right? Looks like this for the side. Side lunge, reverse, side, reverse. Keep it going. 15 seconds to go. Yes, there's my balance. Use your core, breathe. So we're having a little bit of a weight shift, which is gonna put you a little off balance, so use that core. And relax. One dumbbell, set the other one down. Around the world, so think big circle away from your body, turn your body, knee. Big circle, knee. Here we go. Circle. So we're getting some bonus shoulders. You decide how fast you wanna go. And again, modification, do this move without any weight. Just circle, core. So you're activating all of those obliques, and then as you turn, pull in, it's a crunch. No weight, or keep it a little closer to your body. If you don't wanna go all the way out, or all the way, big circle. Shoulders and core. Turn your body. Three, two, one. 10 seconds to breathe. Hang on to that one dumbbell. Lightning round. All right, well, sorry, 30 seconds to breathe as we're gonna have in between. So rest those shoulders. Maybe give your hands a little break from that dumbbell. I forgot I was gonna give you guys a little mini break. All right, so. All of those again, but 30 seconds through, no break. So we've got our jacks, with or without the dumbbell. We've got our cross row, with or without the high pull, our side lunge, reverse, and then our around the world. Here we go, 30 seconds, jacks. Up and out. Low impact. That's why we gave you that 30 second break, right? So your shoulders, could get a break since we're getting them in on this cardio 
and core. No weight is fine too, especially if you feel like you're pulling that neck or that back. You do what's best for you. Be where you are today. Three, two, breathe. Grab your other dumbbell, here we go. Cross and high pull. Cross row and high pull. Yes, row, high pull. And up, yes. And up. Good, little bonus deadlift, right? One more. Good, side lunge, here we go. Right into it, side lunge, reverse. How we doing? Side, reverse. Take your time, get into that hip, push out of the heel, reverse, push out of the front heel. Side heel, 10 seconds. Can you get one more each side? I think you can. Good, drop one dumbbell around the world. Here we go, around, knee, knee. Knee. There we go. Good. Yes. We are almost done with circuit number one. Good. Five to go. Four. Three. Two. One. Ha. Oh, drop those dumbbells. Shake out those arms, especially those shoulders and back. They got a lot of work on that. Breathe. Grab a quick sip of water. Nice work. Circuit one is done. All right, team. So, whoo. All right. So, you got about a minute to breathe. I'm going to explain your next moves. If you want to keep the cardio going, march it or jog it or regular jacks. No need to keep that dumbbell. All right, one minute. So guys, your first move is going to be a little shuffle twist. Dumbbell if you can, shuffle, shuffle, turn. Shuffle, shuffle. If you want, you can push it out. But again, we just had that circuit with a lot of pushes and raises. So keep it here if you'd rather. Low impact, it's a side step or a shuffle. Then we've got our bicep curls. Watch me here. We're gonna go one curl, squeeze it out for your back, all the way down. Curl, lower, back. All right, so you come down about halfway. I'll cue you on that. Then we're gonna do one dumbbell, goblet squat into a curtsy. We're gonna stay low the whole time, alternate our curtsy. Then we're gonna do a plank and we're gonna pull it through. I'll cue you when we get there. Are we ready? One dumbbell, shuffle, here we go. Low impact, shuffle, twist. Turn your whole body on the twist, knees and hips, higher. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. If you want, push. <laughs> My other dumbbell rolled out of the way. It's getting out of here. Again, you can also do this with no weight. Shuffle, twist, another modification. No weight. Or with that weight, low impact, little sidestep, or big shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Yes. Last one. Breathe. All right. Grab your other dumbbell. Mine wanted to get away from me. Here we go. One foot back. Bicep curl, halfway down, squeeze it out, all the way down. Curl, halfway, squeeze. Watch me here. Up, halfway, all the way. Up, halfway down, and squeeze. Our second set, our lightning round. We're gonna take it with that hammer. This time, let's keep those palms up. Squeeze in those shoulder blades. It's a flexibility thing, right? We're pretty tight in our back, so really try to bring them here without arching. You need to modify. Up, you can just do one at a time, or just do the curls, and take that press back, right? Five, 
five seconds. Last one, up halfway. Relax, all right, one dumbbell with your goblet. Hold it in the center, get as low as you can. Curtsy, here we go. So low goblet squat, curtsy it. Take it low. Our goal is to stay low the whole time. There's that balance, right? Whew. So we're here. Goblet, curtsy. Goblet. If you need to modify and you wanna just keep it a little tap without getting low into that curtsy, that's okay. But if you can, here to here. Dumbbell at the chest, get as low as you can. Push through those heels on both. Should be burning a bit. Yes! 10 seconds. And breathe. Low. Last one. Yes! Bring it down into a plank, you guys. So modification on your knees. Here, join me here. Reach through, reach through. Here's your modification. If you can, bring it all the way up. Reach under. Keeping those hips square and really pulling up and in. Whether you're on your knees or on your toes, lifting in the center. So again, a few levels. You're just pulling the weight through. You're here, or you can be here. Still working that core all the way up. Yes, 10 seconds, keep it lifted. Everything's in tight, through the center, and breathe. Last one, and relax. All right guys, 30 seconds to breathe. Water if you need it. Lightning round, 30 seconds each, it's quick. We're going to shuffle with a little twist. Push out if you want. We're going to do hammer curl and squeeze them out. We're gonna do that goblet into a curtsy, get low, and then we're gonna do that plank pull through, knees or toes. So one dumbbell, make sure the other one is close by, at your chest, shoulders back, core in tight. Here we go, shuffle, low impact, you're here, or here shuffle shuffle use whatever space you have you need to make it a little tighter because you don't have as much space to move that's okay you can do that shuffle twist whatever you got three two one bend grab your other dumbbell here we go Hammer, halfway down, squeeze it out, all the way down. Hammer, all the way up, halfway, squeeze. Watch, here to shoulders, halfway, open it out, elbows in. Halfway, keeping those biceps working, adding a little back and shoulders. Last one right here. Yes, relax. One dumbbell into that goblet. Here we go. Down, drop the heel, yes. Low. Weight in your heels, push through on both. Get low, and here. 10 seconds. Yes. Last three, two, one. Good, all the way down. We're here, join me when you're ready. Modification, reach through from the knees, especially if you're in my pre-post DR crowd. If you need to, this works too. Reach, pull it through, or all the way up. You got 15 seconds. We'll go just, just a couple seconds over the 30, because we got the time. So we're going into a break. Five, four, Three, two, and breathe. Ah, good work, team. How are you feeling? Woo. All right, grab a quick sip. 
We are here. Woo. Okay. So, grab some water, tap it out, jog it out. You have a minute to breathe. If you wanna keep more cardio, you can do that shuffle without any weight. Give your hands a break from that dumbbell. All right, guys, our cardio. Tap, tap, lunge. So tap, tap, lunge, or You pick, no dumbbells. Let's give our hands a break on that too. All right, I'm calling this a tricep swing. Watch me, two dumbbells if you can. Take them back, bring them up, triceps behind the head, hinge, triceps here. Up, behind the head, hinge, triceps here. If you need to, we'll just go overhead with one dumbbell if it's too heavy. All right guys, into our deadlift. So we're gonna hinge here, toes out, plie, toes in. Hinge, deadlift, plie, right? Then we'll roll it down. If you need to modify, we're gonna take our knees in. Everybody else, we're gonna do some bicycles with the weight. All right, here we go. No weights, take it here. Tap, tap, lunge. Modification, low impact here. Or just do the taps and don't get super low. That works too. If you can, get low or here. Tap, tap, lunge. Nice and light on those feet. Low in the lunge. Make it burn. Yes, 10 seconds wherever you are. If you showed up today, you are successful. I don't care what you're doing. As long as you're moving your body, that's all that matters. One more. Breathe, yes, heart rate, right? Two dumbbells if you got them. Remember, watch me, we're gonna swing them up. Triceps, hinge, push back, join me. Up, tries, hinge, it's a kickback. If you need to modify, just do one. Take it up, triceps, and down, squeeze back. Up, triceps, squeeze back. If you can, it's a little bit of a press, right? Up, triceps overhead, up, hinge, kick back. We get a little power to push it back, right? Behind, push, behind, Core is engaged the entire time and strong movements relax. Good. All right, two weights. Hinge, deadlift, feet forward, bring it up, toes out, drop it down, toes in. Join me. Hinge and up, toes out, plie, toes in, deadlift. Feels like too much? Just do one or the other. Shoulders back, eyes up, hinge, toes out, plie, toes in. And out, yes. So strong deadlift. Sorry guys, I have not switched my dumbbells once. Totally meant to use them, especially on that first circuit. So if you wanna go heavier on something like this, Five seconds, and breathe. Yes, good. All right, slowly down onto your back. You got 10 seconds. I want you to bring it here. Dumbbell here, push into the dumbbell to activate that deep core. Join me here, modification. You're just doing a little knee raise. That's my pre, postnatal, and DR crowd. Everybody else, start here. Extend it out, push into the dumbbell to activate that core. If you want, elbow to knee. Tuck that chin, make sure we're not straining the neck. If it feels like too much, again, push in. You're still gonna get that activation and a little bit of shoulders and chest, right? Or up, Woo. here, here. Nice and slow. I know it's boot camp and we're moving fast. Yes, but you got this. 
Good, three, two, one, breathe. All right guys, 30 seconds to breathe, bring it up. We'll review our moves, quick sip if you need it. Lightning round. We're gonna move through quickly, okay? So, tap, tap, lunge, really get into it. We got our triceps, bring it up, bring it back. So I want you to use your core and that hinge to get you up and back. Then we got our deadlift, our plie, and then down with that bicycle. All right, dumbbells out of the way, but we're gonna grab them fast. 30 seconds, here we go. Tap, tap, lunge, or join me. It's boot camp, but that can mean whatever you want. Boot camp does not have to mean a million burpees, right? We haven't done any burpees. Should we? I don't know. Breathe. Yes. Good. Relax. Ha. All right, guys. Woo. No. Keep it going. Tricep swing. Ha. Bring it up behind your head. I'm off my game here. I thought I had a 10 second breather. I don't. Triceps. Core up behind the head. Elbow extension on both. But our core is keeping us engaged. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Hinge, deadlift, bring it up, toes out, plie, bring it up. Down, up, toes, deep. Here we go. Yes. Get low in those legs. Breathe. Good. Keep it going. Yes. Good. Drop it down. Come down carefully from your side. Last 30. Push in. Modification. Just bring your knees in. Everybody else, take it here. We'll go a couple minutes over because it's our last one. Lightning round. I know we're moving quick, but really focus on form here. This is what I don't want is this, guys. You're gonna use momentum, you're gonna use your back. Really focus on that deep core. Zip up, check in with your abs, look down. Are you pushing out? Make sure we're pulling in. Breathe. Last one. Relax, good. Woo. Breathe, you guys, ha. Quick sip, grab some water. We're down to our last circuit. All right, guys, so. Whatever you want to do, if you want to keep moving, if you want to go back to that tap, tap, lunge, or jacks, or shuffles, or whatever you want to do, you got a minute, get some cardio, or get a breather. All right, guys, so we're here. Dumbbells out of the way. All right, your first move is gonna be a pop-up. So, if you are pregnant, DR, whatever, if you want to take it here to here, and up, and then to your knees, or, just modify with the bird dog. Everybody else, we're gonna do a pop-up. We're gonna go all the way down if you can. Pop-up, all the way down. So it's not a full burpee, but we're sneaking something in. Oh, I gotta get these in. All right, guys. And then we're gonna go to our plank press, but we're gonna do a row. And then we're gonna take it on our back with the bridge variation. And then we'll have some side planks. Are we ready? Yes. I'll explain those as we go. All right, go ahead and start here on your knees or on your toes, pop up burpee. Here we go. So modification, you can just do the bird dog. You're still getting that core working or walk it in, up, walk it down knees, walk it in, up, walk it down knees. Everybody else if you can, pop up legs, all the way down arms and core, pop up legs, you're strong, you can do this. Breathe, yes, 15 seconds. Notice I'm not going super fast. I want you to land in those heels. I would rather you get that leg work and really have to push through the arms 
then use momentum. This is what I like about the pop-up rather than full burpee. Last one, and breathe. Woo. Stay here, guys. Rest your wrist. Grab one of your dumbbells. So we're here. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. Row each side, join me if you haven't already. Modification is on your knees, up, up, down, down, up, up, row, and row. Or here, down, down, up, up. Keep those hips nice and square. One row, one row. Here we go, down, down, up, up. Good, row and row, that's your upper, keep it going guys. Think about lifting in the center. Whew, I'm sweaty. Making sure those hips aren't dropping, pushing strong through the core and pulling strong through that upper. Here we go, last one. Can you finish it? And here, and here, good. Very carefully roll on to your back guys. Now we really didn't have time to preview these so watch me here, everybody can do this. Just join me. Weights or no weights, bridge, out, in, and down. Lift, out, in, and down. If your hands need a little break, I know that was a lot on your wrist, so totally fine to give them a break. You're still gonna get the work in that lower body. Lift up in the glutes, squeeze in the hamstrings, and also pull that core in. Outer thighs, inner thighs. Really think that you're pushing out, squeezing in. Lift out. We got 10 seconds. Up and breathe. Up. Yes. And relax. Good. All right, guys. Roll onto the front on your elbows. So if you're here, modification, you're just going to open up small, open with those shoulders. Everybody else, let's take it here. Rotate side plank, back to center. Rotate side plank, back to center. Keep it going. If that modification wasn't clear, I just want you to open, but not too much of a twist. I actually did that on the first, but that's not what I want. Open. Open, so you have to engage here. Everybody else, breathe. 15 seconds, lift it up. And breathe. Yes, good. Bring it in. Last three, two, one. Stretch it back. Awesome, guys, you got 30 seconds to breathe. Open up those shoulders. I know, that was a lot. Grab my heavy for the last round. I've been meaning to use them the whole time. All right, so you got 30 seconds to breathe, guys. You got your pop-up burpee. Again, I want you to take it slow, so you really have to get low in the legs and push up through that upper body, and we get the cardio and core. Woo! Then we got our plank press with the row. Knees or toes, up to you. Then we got our bridge, inner outer, and then we got our side plank rotation. Are we ready? Start on the knees, start on the toes, whatever you got. Here we go, 30. So, bird dog modification, pre and post, DR, or up, up to your knees, up, up, back to your knees, or all the way. Strong. I don't want it fast, I actually want you to keep it controlled. Five, four, Three, two, one, breathe. Grab that dumbbell, right into it. Down, down, up, up. Modification here, row and row, or take it up. Down, down, up, up. You guys, I'm sweating all over this mat. Hips are square, core's in tight. When I say that, try to keep from rotating here. Last one, and breathe. Roll it onto your back. With or without those dumbbells. Up, out, in, and down. If your hands need a break, 
you need to modify, we're here. Up, out, in, and down. Modification, no weights, but still keep it here. Core is engaged. If you want, add those weights. Up, out, in, and down. Let's go a little bit over since we missed a little bit of time. Good, and then since this is our last circuit, one more. Good, breathe, pop it over into that side plank. Whew. Last move of this circuit. Here we go, modification, just open, core's engaged, open, pre and post DR, stay here. Everybody else, here. Open, side plank, center. I know, we messed up our time clock, that's okay. Lift in the center, use those obliques. And breathe, keep it going. Good. Yes. Last four, three, two, one. Relax. Oh, how do you guys feel about a bonus move? I know, we just finished our fourth circuit. But, you know I love swings in our kettlebell workouts. You know I love them with our dumbbells. Oh man, you guys, so hot in here today. Woo. All right, bring it up. Last move really quick. One dumbbell or two, modification. Just hinge it with a little deadlift. One dumbbell, hike it like a kettlebell, swing it up, chest level or below. Or two dumbbells, you're gonna hinge it back, pop it up, all right? Breathe, either way, back loaded, right? We're using our glutes and hamstrings, our core, not our arms. Whatever you got, here we go. Last push. I'm gonna start with the modifier. You start with what you want. Ready, Whew. here we go. So you can deadlift just here to modify, or take it here, one dumbbell, power swing. Lock it out of the top, or take it with two. Wherever you are, be where you are today. Drive those hips up. Finish it out strong, guys. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, swing it and relax. Good, pedal those feet. Yes, whoo. All right, team, you did it. Whoo. Put those dumbbells to the side. I you to actually take those hands back. Breathe. We'll take it down for a stretch in just a second, but let's do a little hinge. If you can, put your hands here or here, bend those knees, pedal the feet again. It's gonna get a nice, good stretch. If that feels like too much, put your hands on the back of the couch or a chair, or again, keep them here. But if you can, here, stretch, yes. Woo. Breathe. Bring it up, one foot out. Lean into that here. Nice work, guys. I hope you feel great. You feel like we got a good mix of strength and cardio. You know, often people are scared of the word boot camp in a workout because they think it means it's all burpees, it's all jumping, it's all running. As you can tell, we can keep our bodies working, keep our heart rate up without all of that, right? Or without all of that constantly. Have a seat, take those feet out in front. Ah, lean over and stretch into it. Breathe. Of course, don't forget to check out all of my other workouts. I have several other boot camp ones, kettlebell boot camp, body weight. Let's take those thumbs to the back and check out all of my other playlists. If you go to my homepage, I have tons of playlists, hundreds of videos. I have a playlist for dumbbells, for kettlebells, for TRX, for bands, balls, prenatal, postnatal, diastasis recti, all of it, so check those out, Whew, open it up, and breathe. Big reach over. And of course, if you are looking for a little more structure, 
or more of a schedule to go along with my YouTube videos, make sure you check out the link in the description below for my eBooks and programs. Those are on my website. Those are just curated schedules that go along with the YouTube videos. So lots of things to pick from depending on your goals, depending on how many days a week you wanna work out, depending on what equipment you want. So check those out, bring it up. Ooh, lengthen through that spine, gently pull over to one side. And of course, also check out my four week nutrition guide. It's not a diet plan, no restrictions, no counting calories or macros, just helping you learn to build a balanced plate. Uh, so we teach you balance and portion control, but you get to pick from different things to eat. So it gives you the structure, but with the flexibility. Go ahead and put your fingertips down. I want you to press down, let your head drop to the side, stretch through that forearm, breathe, Whew. and other side, take it here, and breathe, make sure you drop your head so you can get that head and neck stretch, and then seated one, last little stretch here, start with your legs out, you can also do this sitting in a chair, cross it over, bring your feet in, drop that knee down. You can even take this on your back. If you wanna get more of a stretch, it's up to you. Press that knee away from your body. Breathe. And then switch it other side. So start seated, walk that foot in. Lean back if you want to. Make sure you get some water after this workout. We worked hard. And then just go ahead and turn on your knees. Big stretch back. And bring it up. Thank you for showing up today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You guys ask me all the time how you can help out. That is the best thing you can do. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you have notifications turned on so you can know whenever I have a live workout or when I release a new workout. And of course, like, leave me a comment, share it with your friends. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your dumbbell boot camp workout. Great job, everybody.